You know, a few weeks back, I saw a video that was uploaded here to YT by the Crazy Scotsman. And it was called, Six Guns I'm Glad I Own. Well, when he starts the video, he starts pulling out all these beautiful, classic Smith & Wesson revolvers. And I'm just sitting there chomping at the bit, going, wow, those are some real beauties. Well, I'll be honest with you. Now I wished I'd never seen that video because I've went out and I've started, well, let's just say my wallet's a lot lighter than it was a couple weeks ago. <laughs> Anyhow, let me show you something first right here I picked up yesterday, and it was an unexpected find. As you can tell by the case, we know what this is. Smith & Wesson 686 Plus Chamberton 357 Magnum 3 inch barrel unfluted cylinder I bought it used but from the looks of it if it's been shot it hasn't been shot very much but the review will be coming up next week on this alright just a little teaser right there Now, Greg Newton there at Lion Quest Fitness Channel and the Crazy Scotsman both uh, know about this right here. I've uh, asked them, you know, sent them both some texts or emails and asked them, you know, if they'd have any idea when this here was made. Now, it didn't come with the original box or papers or anything, but when I saw this sitting in the use section at uh, Scotty's Guns and Nails, I had to have this. Pre-lock model, Smith & Wesson, looks to be a 3-inch barrel. This is a model 31-1, and it's chambered in 32 long. Now right here is the 32 long round in Magtech, 90 green. That's a hollow point. Looks like a uh, mini-me version of a 38 Special. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, I don't know what year this was made. I guess I can call Smith and find out the shipping date on it. But uh, I kind of goofed up. When I opened up the uh, cylinder here and looked inside to find the model number, I saw about five other numbers right here, and I said, oh, cool, serial number. So I sent this, to, uh, texted it to the crazy Scotsman. Scotsman, I apologize because I realize now and I keep forgetting Smith & Wesson puts the serial numbers down here on the bottom of the grip on these old revolvers. So, yeah, I sent you the wrong number, and I'm rather embarrassed about that. But you know what? That's all well and good. This right here, yeah. The finish on it's a little bit worn up here on top. But, you know, you look here on the inside of the cylinder, not a bit of wear. I like it. Got the original wood grips with the S&W logo inlay right here. They're not all scarred up or anything. Pretty good shape actually and yeah there's a lot of fingerprints on here. Mine of course. Anyhow what do you say uh, I load this up real quick. Like I said, I got the uh, Magtech ammo right here. And we'll put the first, my first rounds through this. One, two. Well, three, four, five, six. Now let me get a few more rounds to put here in my pocket because I'm going to shoot more than one cylinder. Let's see what we got here. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Need three more rounds, my friends. Okay, eleven, twelve. Okay. Put this down. 
have SpongeBob keep an eye on it right there. And I'll set the camera over here. I still haven't learned the editing process on my computer, so I'm doing this all in one take. Okay? And away we go. I'm just going to be shooting at these uh, first few targets right here, but uh, I'm going to turn the camera around where we can see the revolver itself. All right. There we go. Six rounds, 32 long. Get my air protection in right here. All right. First three shots, single action. Let's see. Yeah, I hope this is in frame here. Hmm. Balls. Not bad. Not bad at all. Hmm. That 32 uh, long. That's kind of a stouter round than I thought it'd be. Not as stout as 38 Special, but it's got some pep to it. Go ahead and load up uh, six more rounds here. Trigger and hammer action seem to be very good on this. But of course, you get all these old classic Smith & Wesson revolvers, they usually are really good. Ah, uh, boy. Let's see, and we need one more. The ammo's about $30 a box for this. Uh, I got the ammo at Highland Arms in Abingdon, Virginia. I uh, want to send a shout out to a fellow that's on staff down there. Josh, how you doing, my friend? Josh is the one that showed me that uh, Glock 33 I bought here a couple weeks ago. All right. Three round single action. front blade at side on here is really narrow. A little bit hard just with the light the way it is. It's about 7 o'clock this evening and uh, the shade here. Don't know if I want to put a little dab of red paint on that blade at front side or not, but uh, hey. Yeah, Oh well, like I said, stout little round, 32 long. Let's uh, put a couple more rounds in here and see how she does. You'd almost say this is, I don't know, borderline snappy. But. So far, it's, it's a lot of fun. All right. There we go. Whew. I'd say this thing hasn't been shot in quite a while. It's a little bit stiff, actually. Smith & Wesson, Model 31-1, six-shot revolver. Boy, that cylinder's warm. <laughs> yeah, I like this. Uh, you could say this is the first of my collection. Uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, Crazy Scotsman, I saw them beautiful classics you got. And I was like, yeah, I could see myself owning a few of those, you know. 
I let a uh, Smith & Wesson Chief Special slip through my hands here a couple months back. I wished I'd got it. And it, it wasn't even designated Model 36 yet. It was an original Chief Special, still had the original box, paperwork, and even the date, 1955. I told Scotty, the guy that owns the shop, I said, well, I'll think about it a day or two, and then when I went back down there, somebody had already bought it. And I'm still kicking myself over that, so whenever I see one from now on, no hesitation, all right? Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Uh, this little thing right here, all I'm going to use it for is just plinking. This here is my first collectible. Catch y'all later.